His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today Law 5 for this year, accrediting an agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of Tajikistan regarding encouraging and protecting investment, which was signed in Manama on May 28, 2014. His Majesty also issued three decrees for this year, which are Decree 4 assigning the Minister of Health to be in charge of private health institutions, Decree 5 assigning the Minister of Health as the Minister in charge before the Cabinet and the Legislative Authority regarding the National Health Regulatory Authority. His Majesty issued uh, Decree 7 uh, reorganizing the Board of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority under the chairmanship of the Labor Minister with the membership of eight board members for a four-year term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sukhir Air Base today a number of Bahrain Defense Force officers and personnel upon their return to the kingdom from Yemen after performing the noble duty within the Arab coalition. President where His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Commander of the Royal Guard Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Commander of Royal Guard Special Force Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in addition to the Minister of Defense Affairs and BDF Chief of Staff. His Majesty the King presented the returning BDF officers and personnel with medals of appreciation for their performance of national duties, commending their efforts alongside the rest of the BDF men who achieved many accomplishments and succeeded in completing their assigned tasks with high morale and efficiency. His Majesty the King confirmed that they are a source of pride and appreciated BDF's significant and continuous participation or participating in Operation Decisive Storm and restoring hope within the Saudi-led Arab coalition in support of legitimacy and sovereignty of Yemen and in protection of the Arab nation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today on an official visit to Sochi city in the Russian Federation Republic, during which His Majesty will meet with the Russian President Vladimir Putin to discuss the close relations between the two countries and people and explore ways to develop these relations in various fields, as well as latest regional and international developments. His Majesty the King was received by Sochi city Mayor Anatoly Pakhovov, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Russian Federation, Ahmed Abdurrahman al saati Ambassador of the Russian Federation to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Vagif Gariev, and officials. Earlier, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa departed today on an official visit to Sochi City in the Russian Federation Republic, during which His Majesty will meet the Russian President Vladimir Putin to discuss the close relations between the two countries and people and explore ways to develop these relations in various fields, as well as latest regional and international developments. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was on top of senior kingdom officials who saw off His Majesty the King 
upon departure. His Majesty the King is accompanied by a high-level delegation that includes Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, personal representative of His Majesty the King Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and the Youth Affairs Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Minister of the Royal Court Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Media Affairs Advisor of His Majesty the King Nabil Al Hamar, Minister of Energy Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, Head of Royal Protocols Major General Khalifa Al Fadala, Personal Secretary of His Majesty the King Hamad bin Ali Al Kabi, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Russian Federation Ahmed Abdurrahman Al Saati, and Commander of Sakhir Air Base Major General Pilot Mohammed bin Bouhsen Al Musallam. The Kingdom of Bahrain and Russia enjoy deep rooted excellent ties and joined cooperation and the ongoing visit of His Majesty the King is set to enhance relations in all fields. More in this report. The current visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Russia to meet the Russian President Vladimir Putin at the Black Sea Resort city of Suchi comes in line with the solid relations between the two countries and the constant meetings of their leaderships. Such visit reflects the two nations' keen interest to consolidate bilateral relations and develop joint cooperation in all fields. The visit assures mutual firm supportive stances towards all procedures taken by the two countries in order to combat all types of terrorism as well as maintain regional security and stability. It comes at a time where regional balance is required in order to reinforce Gulf Russian dialogue as Russia is taking a vital role in many regional political, diplomatic and military issues such as the Syrian conflict and the fight against Daesh terrorist group. This is in addition to Russia's influential role in regards to the balatant Iranian interference in the internal affairs of Gulf Cooperation Council countries. The meeting between the two leaders is also expected to discuss other regional issues such as the situation in Yemen and Iraq. Russia and Bahrain look to consolidate cooperation in the fields of energy and economy in addition to military and political coordination. The visit is also expected to enhance trade exchange and increase Bahrain's benefit from Russia's exports, such as natural gas, in addition to activating joint partnership and agreements and increasing investment between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today a number of senior members of the royal family and state officials. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of supporting regional security and stability and warned of the dangers that threaten Gulf security. He reiterated the necessity to join efforts to overcome these challenges and confirmed that all Gulf Cooperation Council countries stand united against all threats which include terrorism. In this regard, the Prime Minister noted the Saudi-led Arab coalition as a model for Gulf and Arab cooperation in facing foreign conspiracies. His Royal Highness said the world is facing unsteady political and economic situations which require more awareness and efforts to preserve the homeland security and stability. He added that challenges should not affect social cohesion and coherence, calling on the need to increase efforts for the best interest of the country and the people. The Prime Minister said that despite the current economic situation, the development process is ongoing across the kingdom, especially the services, housing, educational, health and infrastructure projects in order to provide the best living standards for the citizens.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghadibiya Palace Chairman and Member of the Board of Directors of Awal Theatre as well as representatives of delegations participating in the 9th Awal Theatre Festival. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of arts in presenting the civilized image of nations and expressed pride in GCC arts and artists. During the meeting, His Royal Highness stressed the importance of holding meetings between GCC artists in order to enhance GCC joint cultural action. He also lauded Awal's theatre major role played in enhancing the art field in the kingdom. For their part, chairman and member of Awal Theatre expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his constant support to the artistic movement in the kingdom, which contributed in developing the Bahraini arts field on both regional and international levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa inaugurated today Wadi Al Sail Mall on the occasion of the 48th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. Upon His Royal Highness's arrival accompanied by his son, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, they were received by BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Commander of the National Guard Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jarahma, BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, and senior officers. His Royal Highness then unveiled the commemorative plaque and toured the mall. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of trade projects in developing the national economy through attracting a number of regional, GCC and international investments to the kingdom. His Royal Highness noted that the widespread of malls reflects the growth of the retail sector in the kingdom in order to provide consumers with all their needs and requirements. He also noted Bahraini caters' ability to manage and operate such a vital sectors. BDF Commander-in-Chief expressed his congratulations to all BDF affiliates regarding its 48th anniversary and expressed his pride for BDF's role of maintaining the kingdom's national gains. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's key to develop the BDF through keeping up with the latest developments of the military field. 
His Royal Highness hailed BDF's remarkable efforts alongside the Saudi-led Arab coalition in Yemen regarding restoring peace and stability in the country, in addition to BDF's participation in maintaining regional and international security and stability. His Royal Highness expressed his appreciation for launching such economic projects, which reflect BDF's keenness to participate in the development of the economic march in the kingdom and wish that the kingdom further progress and prosperity. Speaker of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh shared the weekly meeting today where the council rejected the decision of the European Parliament that neglected the huge efforts that Bahrain exerted in the political, economic and social reform and the role it played in enhancing and protecting human rights under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. 
The council approved a report regarding civil and commercial procedures law. The council then agreed to hold a celebration next meeting on the occasion of the National Action Charter to celebrate the accomplishment achieved by Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. Very good evening and welcome to the business news here on Bahrain Television. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,176.82 points, down 0.32 points from last week's closing level. The investment sector represented the majority 64% of total share value traded. In total, there were 104 transactions today involving 6,465,568 shares, worth 975,561 Bahraini dinars. Good evening and welcome to the sports news on Bahrain TV. The African Soccer Confederation backed Bahrain Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa in the FIFA presidential election. The decision to back the Asian Soccer Confederation pre president gave a major boost to Sheikh Salman's hope of succeeding Sepp Platter as the head of the scandal scarred soccer body. Sheikh Salman and UEFA General Sect Secretary Infantino are seen as the strongest candidates to win the February 26th election by FIFA's 209 member countries. <laughs> 